welcome protege in this tutorial we're going to be connecting a 16x2 liquid crystal display or LCD to the modulus canister for this tutorial you're going to need some flush cutters a wire wrap tool I'm using the WSU 30M tool you'll need male to female jumper wires and these are 12 inches long You'll need a 10K potentiometer, which is in the modulus kit. You'll need a 220 ohm resistor to limit the current to the LED backlight that's on the character display. You'll need 30 gauge wire. I have red, white, and black. You also need a soldering iron and solder. Now on the 16 by two character display, this male header does not come soldered on so once you get your display you'll have to do that yourself first we're going to start with the easy pins first so the LCD has 16 pins and first we're going to wire the pin 1 to ground pin 2 to plus 5 volts pin 5 which is the read write pin to ground and the cathode which is pin 16 to ground. I'm going to use black wire for ground. Use the wire wrap tool to strip off some of the insulation. I usually strip off about a half inch. Insert it into the side that has this little notch. and push it all the way through until the insulation hits that edge there. Now try not to press down on the tool otherwise the wire will start to, start to wrap around itself. You want the wire to build on top of itself. So let the tool do the work. We want to wire this pin one here to the ground vector above. So we have pin one wire to ground. Next we're going to wire pin 2 to plus 5 volts on the 4 by 26 breakout header and I'm going to use red for that. And if we look at the user guide for the fuel can there's a pinout diagram for the 4x26 connector and the plus 5 volt rail is on column 20 so this rightmost column is 26 so we want to count over to 20 Now we have plus 5 volts wired. Next we're going to wire pin 5 which is the read write pin to ground and the reason why we can do that is because we're only going to be writing to the LCD not reading from it so we can just tie that to ground. Okay, we have pin 5 wire to ground and now we're going to wire pin 16 
to ground as well and that is the cathode of the LED backlight on the 16x2 character LCD. Next we're going to solder the 10K potentiometer and the 220 ohm resistor. Now you want the middle pin on the potentiometer to line up with pin 3 of the character display. And that's so it's easier to solder on the back because we, we still have to connect those pins. Once you have the potentiometer soldered on, then we can solder on the 220 ohm resistor. And place this near pin 15. Once we have the potentiometer and the resistor soldered on, then we have to flip the board over and bridge these connections, the middle pin of the potentiometer to pin 3 of the LCD, and the pin of the resistor that is closest to pin 15. almost finished with wiring the LCD. Next we can trim off a little bit of these tails that are from the resistor and make sure you leave enough so you can still wire wrap to those pins. And now we can wire wrap the other side of the resistor to plus 5 volts and we have to route pin 3 to plus 5 volts and pin 1 of the potentiometer to ground. Okay, we have all the wire wrap complete. So now the last thing to do is just attach the female to male jumpers and plug in the LCD. We need a jumper on pin four, which is register select. We need a jumper on pin six, which is enable. And the last four jumpers will be used for the data lines and we're only using 
four bit mode, which uses D4 to D7, and these are on pins 11 to 14.